Hey everybody, welcome to Dano's channel. I am Dano and I'm back at Disneyland. Today we're gonna take a look at the Droid Factory Build Your Own Droid Station. Let's do it. In Disneyland California's Tomorrowland, there's a store called the Star Trader, which you can also access by exiting the Star Tours ride. It sends you right into this gift shop. Now this gift shop may actually look familiar, because you've seen it in a lot of my videos where I do the build your own lightsaber. There's the build your own lightsaber station. But that's not all. Over in Florida, there's a Star Wars trading post that contains a lightsaber station and the build your own station where we have a lot of cool droids that are all compatible with the Droid Factory line of toys. Now this line of toys is special because it lets you pick different pieces to make your own astromech or protocol droid. All right, guys, we're here at the Build Your Own Droid Station. Now, this is for making your own protocol droid. So you have a bunch of different options for the head. Check it out. There's even multiple colors of the same thing. There's like a forlorn looking one. You can get them in blue, silver, black. Got a ton of different options. I don't even know who that is. He looks almost like a Lego guy with a weird hat. If you look at him close enough. But we're going to start with the head. So let's pick, let's go with this guy. He looks kind of like a C-3PO droid, but he's not. He's actually something a little different. You can tell by his face. And next up, we're gonna pick a body. We've got a couple different colors. There's some in red, blue, white, silver, gold. And there's actually different models and different styles within all those different color choices. So I'm gonna stick with, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with white. I think that'll look pretty good, right? That's looking pretty nice. And notice the uh, torso does swivel on all of these, so. It gives it just a little more articulation there. All right, next up, we need to go with some arms. We've got right arms, we've got left arms. Let's let's try black. I think black might look pretty good here. Now these are specifically right arms, so they need to go on his right side. There we go, that looks pretty good. And let's pick out a left arm that's gonna be black also. Is that in the right spot? No, it's not. Let's see if maybe we can find another one here. How about that one? Will that fit? There we go. That's looking pretty good. It does rotate. Yeah, you get wrist rotation, you get elbow rotation. So it's actually a pretty highly articulated figure. There we go. He's looking pretty good. And next up, we'll get into our right legs and left legs. I think I'm going to go with black still. There we go, and that just pops right into the socket there. You can see the hole. And should I mix it up? Should I do like one red leg? They can be kind of like C-3PO. Says maybe you won't recognize him because of his one red leg. There he goes. That's our crazy looking protocol droid. There you go. Now, while I didn't record it while I was out making the droids in the parks, I do have quite a few examples that I can show you guys now that I'm back home. But once you're done making your droid, in this case, this is a protocol droid. This is the one I actually made. You get a plastic package to put it in. Now, mine, unfortunately, got a little bit beat up during our trip. Uh, we actually did this when we went on the Disney cruise. But here are some close-ups. You can see it's got a little warning there, not for kids under three, because they will put this entire droid in their nose. Uh, this is Droid Factory. There's a nice blank spot there so that you can put your own letters because it comes with a sheet full of letters like even little rebellion stickers that's pretty nice uh it says ages four and up not for kids under three authentic original disney parks i like the cool design with the droid factory on there again it's a nice little bubble for your own character comes with a sheet of stickers on the back let me read you what the blurb says whether they're merchandise to the Jawas of Tatooine, servants to the evil Galactic Empire, or friends of the Rebel Alliance, droids of all different types populate the Star Wars galaxy. Which is why I love Star Wars. Uh, from astromechs to protocol, or even assassin droids, there are many different colors and styles of each droid class. Each droid is different and has their own unique personality. At the Star Wars Droid Factory, guests can build and name a Star Wars droid that is uniquely their own. May the Force be with you and your droids. Unfortunately, there are no sad babies. One thing I do want to point out to you guys is this Droid Factory line has been around for quite a while. You might have seen my BB-8 video. I've got another set of Astromechs that is actually compatible with this too. I should do a review on. But this is the Halloween exclusive. This one was R3B0017. So it's like R3 Droid, but then it's Boo, like for Halloween, and then 17 because it's the 17 version. They make holiday ones that are like holiday... 17 or holiday 2016 every year they come out with different ones that are exclusively designed and made for that year 
Um, since Halloween's already passed, and I actually really like the way this one looks, I'm keeping this one in package. I'm not going to be opening it up. But the part that I really, really like about these Droid Factory droids is that if you buy more than one, or if you have any of those other compatible droids, they're totally interchangeable. You can, like, when you come back home, you can interchange all the pieces. And one of the things I didn't mention on the, uh, on the protocol droid that is different when you're making an astromech droid. Who else do I have here? I have another astromech. I can show you guys here in person now that I'm at home and have a little time to play with them. Um, not only can you swap out the legs, so you pick out, let me show you the different pieces that you can pick out. You can pick out a dome, which is going to be the head. Uh, once you've picked your dome, and there's uh, different styles, you can do like R2D2 style of drone. In fact, drone, <laughs> dome, in fact, the R2D2, that's the Force Link, the one that just came out for The Last Jedi, had little rocket boosters on the side, is Droid Factory compatible, which some of you told me I didn't I didn't realize that initially. He's a little hard to get his dome off, but the way you know for sure that it is Droid Factory compatible and that you're meant to rip that R2-D2's head off is with these little... I'll show you the close-ups. You guys got to see it yourself. See, his dome was on there just fine. This is the R2-D2. Remember that little green dot there? This is the one from The Force Awakens. This is a Force Link figure. You can tell by his foot there. But the feet come off, the head comes off, and you can see all the little details and everything inside. So they wouldn't put those details on the inside if they didn't mean for you to take that apart. Uh, this leg does come off. These legs do pop off if you work them long enough. Uh, and you can totally swap them out with these other droid pieces. But what's cool about the Astromex over the Protocol droids is the hats. They have accessories and Disney Park specific accessories. Look at that little Jedi symbol on top of that Mickey hat and they do have a hole just in case you've got uh, any of the uh, astromech droids that have an antenna sticking up that hole allows it to still be worn on any of the different droids okay guys so for my home example I've separated my droid pieces and kind of lines here you can see different types of domes that I've got and you can pick whichever one you want and then you can pick your little core the main body part and again they have different colors different designs different styles all together you can see there, and there's different fronts and backs, but pretty cool stuff. Again, this bottom row right here is our Force Link R2-D2 pieces. The other ones are all lined up according to how they were made by either myself or my kids. And I've even got another one here that I made. This is actually the first one I made. You can see his name there's MX1CN, like Mexican, because he's got the cool little sombrero hat on. But this is my first Droid Factory droid that I ever made, and he's still in his package. Uh, same blurb as before. This package is a little bit better because it didn't get squashed on my Disney Cruise like the rest of these other packages did. So, let's build one. Why not, right? Let's go with... I'm going to mix and match quite a bit here. I'm going to go with the green top. I'm going to put it on this black body right there. I'm going to pick... Hmm, I'm going to go with this leg and this leg. And I'll put those on in a second when I have a free hand. Um, for the sake of things, I'm going to go with a green middle leg, and then I'm going to give him, you know, it's Christmas time. Let's put a Christmas hat on him. The hat I can put on right now, maybe. There we go. The hat went on just fine. Cool. There he is in the front. I'm going to fix the legs, and I'll be right back. So there you have some close-ups of the droid that I just put together. Look at him all fancy and his crazy weird coloring going on, but you can do whatever your imagination wants you to do. In fact, I decided I would put together all the other droids. Here's my original my Mexican <laughs> astromech droid. There's R2-D2 with a slightly different paint job on his chest. I think he looks pretty cool, actually. And there's like a Mickey Mouse inspired droid with the black, white, and red kind of feel. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with these. I really like these droid factory droids. In fact, I've got some more uh, protocol droids that my son bought, so I can mix and match those pieces too. I think the next time I go to Disneyland, I might actually stock up on a bunch of different ones just so I can have cool options and stuff. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you guys like the Build Your Own Droid, Droid Factory line of toys from Disneyland? And do you have any suggestions or anything you'd like to see for your own droid? Like if you were to make your own, what kind of hat would you choose? What kind of pieces would you pick? I want to know. Leave it down in the comments below. Guys, do yourself a favor if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Dano channel, be part of the Dano channel family, and if you want to take it up a notch from there, tickle that little bell notification, that way you'll be part of the sad baby squad. Those are the elite, 
members of the Dano Channel family who show up the second every video comes out. You guys get a notification letting you know that I put out something new and usually show up first. Hashtag sad baby squad. And if you want to be featured in one of my videos, I've been asking you guys to do the tag me on Twitter or at me on Twitter at Dano Flores or tag me on Instagram if you have like a photo or a video of your personal collection, anything that you've personally made, all that kind of stuff. I want to feature you guys because you guys are so awesome. You guys are really creative and you guys help me out a lot in this channel. When there's something I don't know, you guys are quick to jump in and be like, no, this is actually what it is. So I really appreciate that. My way of kind of paying it back is to help feature you guys in my videos because you guys are as much a part of this as I am. I wouldn't be here without you guys and those numbers are growing more than they ever have. So there's a lot of new faces, a lot of new people showing up and watching my videos and I appreciate each and every one of you. Guys, that's all I got for right now. If you like them, thumbs it up. If you don't like them, thumbs the video down. Yes, that's totally fine. If you don't like it, I want you to thumb it down, but tell me what you don't like down in the comments below. That's it for now. We like to end the video by saying, may the force have with you and goodbye forever. <laughs>